Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode of What's Up with Dota. So today's first news story is a possibility of some match fixing, aka 322. So this match happened between S1 Lycos and Arcanis Gaming. So this all started to happen a few minutes before the game started where high value bets are now being placed on Arcanis, which seems very odd since this match is a very unpopular match and the team is currently at a 11 game losing streak. During the game, some people started noticing some weird occurrences such as Morphling being played by Team S1 Lycos was always morphing to agility when dying or clash. Also, Morphling was replicating into the enemy team multiple times and then continues on to die. In one instance, a 5v5 fight in the Roshan pit occurred and Lycos got wiped out and Arcanis managed to stay alive and got the Aegis. And then when Lycos did win a fight, it seemed that they would rather farm the jungle and lane and not push at all. Of course, you have the typical courier suicide, courier snipes without wards and perfect timing and game 2 is done. Although according to the graphs, the graph kept swinging back and forth but the plays do not add up and seem kinda obvious that they were throwing the game. Now of course both teams have responded in which S1 Lycos has replied, We are not in our best shape. You'll see it in a few days why. My players are not involved in any match fixing issues. I even asked them to forfeit the match even hours before the game. Two of my players are on the Kavite and one is not playing. Sorry if we let your items down, but we are not what you think we are. We are just on a slump at the moment. Now Godot from Team Arcanas replied saying, If any accusations are directed towards me or Arcanis, all I have to say in our defense is that none of us are involved as far as I know. I didn't come all the way to the Philippines to throw games, I came to the Philippines with a brand new lineup to play on lower latency to be able to actually play Dota, win games, and try to make something out of it. So of course no one is sure right now so it's all about he said, she said, or he's playing bad, she's playing bad, whatnot. There is no guilty verdict thrown. But it's up to the viewers and people who spectated the match to the fans and everyone to decide if this was a clear instance of match fixing. But like I said, that's up to viewers to decide. Moving on to the second story. The second story involves Alexander Garfield. Now this really doesn't have to do specifically with Dota, but what he has provided for esports in which he has some teams of course for Dota 2 as well. Now Alexander Garfield is the founder of Evil Geniuses and The Alliance. Today on Twitter he said, I'm announcing today that I've left Twitch. Thank you to everyone at Good Game, The Alliance, and Evil Geniuses for changing my life. So it's sad to see him go. Obviously he was one of the beginning roots of, you know, esports I guess you could say. Because, you know, teams like Evil Geniuses go way beyond Dota 2. I mean, they've been in StarCraft. But, you know, it's pretty sad to see him go. I mean, he did accomplish a lot. I mean, Evil Geniuses, in terms of Dota 1, didn't do much. In Dota 2, they were kind of relevant, but they weren't big up until the formation of Sad Boys. And the fact that he stuck with the organization for Dota 2, you know, it's pretty incredible that, you know, he kept out funding it or whatnot. But, you know, it's sad to see him go. Good luck to him in the future. I'm pretty sure he left his um, footprint, as they say, in the esports community. And, you know, good luck. Moving on to the final story. So the final story is some sad news for our Filipino fans or Pinoy players, however you want to address them, but it seems that TNC Pro Team is no more, with 5 of their players have now left the team. Of course, yesterday or 2 days ago, 4 of their members had left, but as of today, it is officially 5 members who have left the team. Now, of course, this does not mean that TNC, TNC Pro Team as an organization will disband, but that just that the international 2016 crew that was there is no more. Now TNT Pro Team could potentially get some new players and live like that or keep going like that. But as of today, they are no more. Uh, now tomorrow, of course, is the release of uh, Pit Lord or AKA Underlord, however you want to um, call him now. But, you know, I hope you guys have fun with that. But that's it for today. If you liked the video, give it a like, comment, subscribe. But I'll catch you guys next time.